Hello and welcome to Maths with Mr. Holmes. What will you learn today? Let me tell you. It's calculating the area of rectangles. You are in for a real treat today as it's a maths game special. And our little game is called Rectangle Areas. All you need is a die, one to six. If you want to challenge yourself, go for a ten-sided die, a one to ten. You will need a piece of squared paper, or you may use my extra special rectangle areas worksheet. This is a game for two players ideally. However, you could battle against yourself and find how many rectangles you can squeeze onto your worksheet playing the game rules. Let's have a look at the rules then. So each player is going to take turns rolling a one to six die, roll it twice and get two factors. So let's do that. A one and a six. So we're going to draw and color the area on the grid to match those factors. For example, if I rolled a six and a three, I could draw a six by three rectangle or a three by six rectangle. Unfortunately, mine wasn't as good. I only got a one and a six. I'm going to choose the color red and anywhere on my sheet, I can decide to go one by six. I think I might try and go here. I want to go one across. One, two, three, four, five, six down. One across again. And then draw my line up to match. Would be good, remember, to be accurate mathematicians to use a ruler. My next step is to write the measurements and the area inside the rectangle. So I did a one, might have to write sideways here, a one by six. Remember, when we're working out the area, we can use our times tables to help by doing the length times the width. So one times by six will give me six. We're measuring in centimetres. And if you can remember, area is measured in squares. So I'm going to put a floaty two there, which is the math symbol for squared. If you're not sure, if you find it a little bit tricky with some of your times tables, you can simply count the squares inside your rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm playing against somebody, so they are just about to take their turn. They got a five, lucky them, and a one, unlucky them. They will then, then repeat anywhere they want. They will draw their rectangle, a one by five, Recording the measurement inside. So one times by five. Pop in the area inside two after they've worked that out. And remember, we're measuring today in centimeters squared. If you roll the die, you get two big factors and there's no more room on the sheet to fit it in, then you lose your turn and the play passes to the next player. The winner is the player with the most area colored so you can add all of your areas of rectangles up. Now, just before you go and play, don't worry if you perhaps rolled a three and a three, so three across, 
and three down, you may think, oh no, I can't do that. Because, Mr. Holmes, that's a square, because all the sides are the same length. However, that is still a rectangle. It's a special rectangle where the area, uh, sorry, the sides are all the same length. But the square is still a rectangle. It's a special kind of rectangle. So, there you have it. You've got the rules. It's as simple as that. Go and have fun with maths. And I'll see you again soon for even more maths fun.